Hey guys, so now we'll begin navigating through words, which is a little more efficient. If you press W, you can navigate to the beginning of the next word. Capital W does the same, but it ignores punctuations. Now, this may sound a little confusing, so let's go through an example. In the telephone number 1-800-555-1234, we have hyphens, which are punctuation marks. Each punctuation mark separates a lowercase word, but in the case of capital words, we ignore the punctuation marks. So how many lowercase words is this? We can check by using the lowercase w key. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And how many capital words is this? So we'll just go 1, and that's it, just 1, since we're ignoring the punctuation marks. Let's try another example. Here, can you guess how many lowercase words are in this sentence? Since we're considering the apostrophes, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 words. Now, how many capital words are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. Just 4. Alright, now we can practice navigating 4 with the W keys with a simple Java code. And don't worry if you don't know Java, just uh, practice navigating through this code snippet. And we can also navigate to the end of a word using the E key. The capital E key also goes to the end of the word, but ignores punctuations, just like capital W. Now try navigating through this Python function. Lastly, there's the B key that goes back a word. The capital B is the same, but ignoring punctuations. Try going backward in the text. And lastly, there are some review questions with answers below.